Thank you, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, I now beg to move that pursuant to the provisions of Article 172, this House approves the appointment of the following members to the Committee on Selection in addition to those specified under paragraphs, paragraphs A and B. And Honorable Speaker, I would beg to move this motion in an amended form on some of the names, and I will indicate, Honorable Speaker, where I intend to do that. And that, that's only on uh, the majority side. Honorable Speaker, number one is the Honorable Eric Karemba Mushangi Njiru, MP. Number two, the Honorable John Kearie Wawero, MP. Number three, the Honorable Beatrice Kahai Adagala, MP. Honorable Speaker, number four, the Honorable Jaffet Miriti Karekembuki, CBS MP. Number five, the Honorable Julius Kibiwot Meli, MP. Number six, Honorable Speaker, in place of the Honorable Joash Nyamoko Nyamache, to put in that place the Honorable uh, Silvanas Osoro, the Chief Whip MP. The Honorable Mother Wangare Wanjira, MP. The Honorable Dr. Robert Pukose, MP. Honorable Speaker, number nine is the Honorable Lea Sopiato Sankaire, MP. Number 10, the Honorable Ann Murada Wanjiko Mogo, MP. Number 11, the Honorable Caroline Jepto Ngeleche, MP. Number 12, the Honorable Joseph Majimbo Kalasinga, MP. Number 13, the Honorable Junette Mohammed, CBS, MP. Number 14, the Honorable Joshua Kimilu, MP. Number 15, the Honorable Jesse Kambalu, MP. Number 16, the Honorable Julia Sunkuli, EGH, MP. Number 17, the Honorable Samuel Arama, MP. Number 18, the Honorable Ken Chonga, MP. The Honorable Nabi Nabuera, MP. Number 19, number 20, the Honorable Omul Hair Harun, MP. And lastly, number 21, the Honorable Ali Wario Guyo, MP. Honorable Speaker, as I've noted, uh, other than what is uh, already published on the order paper, the amendment of the majority side is to include the uh, Chief Whip in place of the Honorable Joash Nyamoko. And I think uh, we've done that uh, just pursuant to the regional balance that we are trying to achieve. The Honorable Joash Nyamoko hails from the same region with the Honorable Chief Whip. Uh, and it is indeed important that the whip be present in this elections committee. Honorable Speaker, these committee members will appreciate, and I know those in the leadership, both in the minority and in the majority, have had uh, a lot of engagements with members who are seeking to be placed in certain committees. And I have seen people queuing outside the office of the leader of minority just like there are people queuing outside my office and that of the whip or the deputy leader of my majority seeking to be placed in committees and it's good for members to appreciate that this is a committee that is under our standing orders that is charged with the responsibility of placing you in committees not the leader of minority not the leader of majority it will be this committee these members are the members now that you need to engage <laughs> <laughs> to place you in uh, the committees of your choice. Uh, but I'm certain, uh, as we have done in the majority party, we had given our members the opportunity to pre-list the uh, committees of their choice. And uh, I want to encourage even my colleagues in the minority to organize themselves and uh, at least get your members to pre-list the committees that they desire so that by the time we get an opportunity, as and when this committee is approved by the House, to sit, we make our work easier on a list that are agreed from both the majority and the minority, so that we make, it's a very tedious exercise, and one that will take a lot of time, or one that will require us to balance various interests, uh, to be able to place members in the committees where they are best uh, suited, um, uh, where your skills and I'm sure all our members at the time of induction we 
had our bio data taken. We have uh, copies of your CV, so we'll be able to place you in the committees of choice, and we will endeavor to make sure that you are placed in uh, your committees of choice and those that are in line with your skills and competencies. But also, I want to appeal to members, because I have seen, for instance, on our side, on the side of the majority, Honorable Speaker, the members who had requested to be listed in the eight or so slots that we have on the majority side, in the Committee of, for Transport, I was just looking at the numbers last night, 79 members desire as their first choice to be listed in the Committee for Transport. And I know it is uh, because of the challenges that members have in their constituencies with roads and infrastructure in our backyards, but I want to assure members, as much as you may not all, 79 members in the majority cannot fit in that one committee, we will endeavor to list the eight who will be lucky, uh, the, the, the selections committee will find uh, uh, suitable to sit in that committee. Uh, of course, considering, uh, like we have done even in this committee, regional, ethnic, ethnic party balance, including representation of our independence. And you see even in the selections committee, the Honorable Ngelechei is there representing the uh, independence in, in, uh, in, this, in this selections committee. The Honorable Caroline Jepto Ngelechei is there representing. The, our small parties are also represented in this committee. And therefore, uh, we will take care of the interest. And I want members to trust that this committee will uh, be diligent, will be fair and just to each and every one of us to make sure that we serve in committees where we will give our best to the service of our nation. Honorable members, as I have indicated, it may not be possible to place everybody in their first choice, but we will endeavor to place you either in your first, second, or third choice. I uh, will encourage you to engage with members uh, of this committee with time, uh, and also to be very understanding. And uh, as, as I said, I also encourage the leader of minority to hasten together with your leadership to get the list of uh, uh, members who you may nominate to certain committees so that by the time we meet, most of the groundwork will have been done, and the committee just seeks to uh, ensure that there is a proper balance, that we are placing the right people in the right committees. And lastly, just to indicate to members of uh, all of us as members, that every committee of this house is as important as any other committee. And being a member of parliament, you have the opportunity to attend committees of uh, any committee that you want to attend. Nobody stops you from, if you are a member, for instance, of the Transport Committee, nobody will stop you from attending in line with our standing orders. You just need to notify the chair in advance. You want to attend the Budget Committee meetings. You want to attend the Energy Committee meetings. And if you have an interest, for instance, in water and irrigation, because I've seen most of the members are requesting to either be in transport, budget, uh, water and irrigation, health, uh, energy, um, public accounts committee. Nothing precludes you from attending those committees. And the Honorable Pio and I will tell you when he was chair of the public accounts committee, uh, many of us, or when you have a matter that you are interested in, of course, uh, if it's something that you have uh, uh, a pecuniary interest, you must declare that interest. But you just need to notify the chair if you want to articulate issues that 